uh, chapter number three. We're going to deal with chapter three and four in our message, but look at chapter number three. And look at verses number 10 through verse number 14. And when you have found it, you can stand in honor of the reading of the word of God. Amen. Stand around. And for your information, those who have the Right Now Media app on your phone, the Bible study lesson is on there. And it, it, it comes from what subject, y'all? Y'all in this thing? Amen. No? Huh? Brokenness. No? It's wounds. Wounds. It comes from wounds. Brokenness was the last one we did. It comes from wounds. So, Sister Carl, one more second. It comes from wounds. So, go to your right now, media app. Look up wounds and listen to that. It's powerful. It's powerful. And that's where our Bible study list will come from. And if you don't have it right now, media app, we're still encouraging you to come to us. Come to somebody who has it. Come to Erica. She'll help you with it. If any of other us can help you get the app on your phone so you can be a part of the Bible study. Amen? All right. Exodus chapter number 3. Are you there? Verses number 10 through verse number 14. And then our message will deal with parts of chapter number 4. Now yeah. let's read uh, verses 10 uh, through 14. Since it's only a few verses, we'll read it together if you will. Let's read. Come now, therefore. And I will send thee unto Pharaoh, that thou mayest bring forth my people, Amen. the children of Israel, out of Egypt. And Moses said unto God, Who am I that I should go unto Pharaoh, and that I should bring forth the children of Israel out of Egypt? And he said, Certainly I will be with thee, and this shall be a token unto thee, that I have sent thee, and thou hast brought forth the people out of Egypt. He shall serve God upon this mountain. And Moses said unto God, Behold, when I come unto the children of Israel, and shall say unto them, The God of your fathers have sent me unto you. And they shall say to me, What is his name? What shall I say unto them? And God said unto Moses, I am that I am. And he said, Thus shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, I am have sent me unto you. Verse 15 will ask, and God said, Boy, hold on to Moses. Thou shalt thou say unto the children of Israel, The Lord God of your fathers, the God of Abraham, the God of Isaac, the God of Jacob, has sent me unto you. This is my name forever, and this is my memorial unto all the generations. Amen. You see it. The word of God is already blessed. Amen. 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 Yeah, we like to use this subject this morning, and I would that you would really listen and pay this, take this to heart and pay attention to the subject as we go through the message that God has prepared for us this morning. Let go, let go, and let's. Let L-E-T go and L-E-T-S go. Let go and let's go. Amen. Thank God for our preachers here with us this morning. Thank God for all officers and members, visiting friends to this congregation. We certainly thank God for you. In the message this, this morning, this message is to encourage us to be not inside of just sitting and looking at the work that the church is doing, but to be a part, to become involved in the work of the church. The biggest problem we have with Getting people to move from the pew to into action is excuses. Everybody has, well, not everybody, but a lot of people have some excuse that they didn't miss uh, themselves is a valid excuse of why they can't do what God has called them to do. God 
didn't call any of us to just be bitch old. That's why these bitches stay in legs. They can stand on their own. All right, all right. God called us to get involved in the ministry and in the work of the church. And you say, a lot of people, we make this uh, statement and not really pay attention to what we say, but we say, I'm going to church. No, you're not going to church. You're taking church to the building. Yes, sir. That's right. That's this ain't the church. The church is in you. The church lives in us. So here's Moses. Here's Moses. How was Moses? Y'all know the story of Moses. Moses is a very popular character in the Bible. How was Moses raised? Who was he raised by? He was raised by an Egyptian. But Moses was a what? He was a Hebrew. He was raised by a Egyptian. Remember when he was praying on land, they put, they put out a decree that all the baby boys had to die. So, so Moses, they, 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 listen, when you love somebody, you'll be willing to let them go in order for their survival. Amen. So Moses' mom, they loved him enough to let him go. So he was raised in Egypt, the very same land that God was going to send him back to. All right. All right. To tell Pharaoh to let his people go. Some of us don't want to do the work that God has for us to do because we're afraid that we're going to run across somebody that know about our yesterday. All right, all right, all right, all right. How we, we have some of the same words that, that we hung out and spoke with, hung out and drunk with, some of the same ones we ran late night in the streets with. We, we're afraid to do the work of God because they remember. Who you use. Yes. So we hold on to that. Right. For an excuse. But you have to let go. Oh, and let go. In order for us to move forward, you got to, you got to put blinders on your pants. God specializes in distancing us from our past. So God did Moses like he does us. God had let Moses. Good God. 
Obama has more than spoke to you. Amen. You can't tell him where to speak to you from. Yeah. Uh, but has he ever saw, have you ever heard the voice yeah. right, right. of the Lord? So he spoke to Moses Amen. from the burning bush. Amen. And listen, this let Moses know. First of all, he got to respect God. As he, as he went to the bush, yeah. uh -huh. he said, oh, stop. Right there. Take off your shoe. What made the ground holy? Right. The presence of God. The presence of God. We come in this place, and the presence of God meets us here through the power of the Holy Spirit. That made this place holy when the church assembles here. It's the presence of God. Church move. I mean, I know this is serious business. There's somebody out there trying to find their way to Jesus. 
say we might have been the way too. Yeah. But the God says, stop! Listen, whatever you're running from, you might be scared to do it. Because you know it was not in a, uh, in a building within your home man, to do it by yourself. But you stop running. Turn back to God and trust God. No. 
about the head of him whom uh -huh. thou wilt save. Yes, yes, Verse 14 said, yes, and the Lord got away. Yes, How many of y'all know the Lord is angry yes, at some of us? Yes, He's simply angry yes, because yes, we're not going yes, to me yes, to do what God yes, so yes, has to do. Uh -huh. God said, He's not angry uh -huh. to leave out your brother.
Amen. 